Normality is the number of equivalent weights per liter of solution. It can be calculated by multiplying the molar concentration, moles per liter, times the equivalent number, N, which is giving units of equivalence per mole. And so these together yield units of equivalence per liter, or normal, given the symbol big N, normal. The equivalent number, little n, is equal to the number of electrons or protons transferred in reactions. You can think of it as the number of hydrogen ions that a molecule transfers or the valence state of an element or compound. For the carbonate ion, the equivalent number is going to be equal to 2. For the carbonic acid, there are two hydrogen. The equivalent number is also 2. For aluminum ion, N equals 3, or the valence state of the ion. And for hydrochloric acid, there is one hydrogen, and the equivalent number will be equal to 1. If you were asked to find the normality of the solution, given a molar concentration, or moles per liter, equal to 1 molar, you could now find that with the relationship that normality equals the equivalent number times molarity. So for the carbonate ion, this would be equal to 2 times 1 molar, or 2 normal. For carbonic acid, it would be also 2 times 1 molar equals 2 normal. For aluminum, it would be 3 times 1 molar, 3 normal. And for hydrochloric acid, it would be 1 times 1 molar, or 1 normal. The easiest way to consider the usefulness of normality is to compare two acids. Here we have sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid. If you had a one molar concentration of each, you may consider them to be equal strength. But in fact, the sulfuric acid releases two protons when it dissociates, whereas the hydrochloric acid only releases one. If you compare the normality, though, you can see that we would have a two normal solution versus a one normal solution given the same molar concentration. This helps us see quickly that the sulfuric acid is a stronger acid than hydrochloric. Similar to normality, there is a unit called equivalent weight that is used in environmental chemistry. The equivalent weight of a compound is defined as the molecular weight or the atomic weight divided by the equivalent number n. This is not the molar concentration, but the molecular weight in terms of grams per mole. In this practice, the question is, what is the equivalent weight of the following? These are the same compounds we just worked with. The equivalent number for carbonate is 2, for carbonic acid is 2, for aluminum is 3, and for hydrochloric acid is 1. The equivalent weight is equal to the molecular weight divided by N. So for carbonate, that is 60 grams per mole divided by 2 equivalents per mole. This gives you 30 grams per equivalent. For carbonic acid, that would be 62 grams per mole divided by 2 equivalents per mole, or 31 grams per equivalent. For aluminum, this is 27 grams per mole divided by 3 equivalents per mole, or 9 grams per equivalent. And for hydrochloric acid, 36.5 gram per mole divided by 1 equivalent per mole, or 36.5 gram per equivalent. This leads us to the unit as calcium carbonate. This is a very unique unit for environmental engineering. It is used to express terms of alkalinity and water hardness, and we will come back to what those two terms mean when we discuss water treatment. For now, I'd like you to understand that there is a unit called milligrams per liter as calcium carbonate. You can consider it similar to converting dollars to euros. I can discuss how much money I have in my bank account in terms of euros, even though what I really have in my bank account is American dollars.
To convert any milligram per liter of a species X, so this would be a chemical species, you simply multiply the milligram per liter of the chemical species times the equivalent weight of calcium carbonate divided by the equivalent weight of that species. And again, equivalent weight is equal to the molecular weight divided by the equivalent number. We will work with the unit of milligram per liter calcium carbonate when we do alkalinity and hardness calculations.